Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Today we have a slightly different video idea and what we're doing is we are going to compare two rods that are identical and that they are both 10 foot 3 way uranium rods but very different in that Andrew has a rod that costs like $850, $900 and I'm using a rod that costs me just under $200 which still isn't cheap but as far as fly rods go and especially urine nymphing that's about as cheap as they come because I did a lot of research to find, try to find one that was cheap and that's pretty much what I came up with but anyway each of us are going to use both rods and then we're going to kind of give our final thoughts at the end on which rod is better why it's better and kind of our overall opinions on each rod so yeah this is kind of a rod versus rod challenge type video and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. By the way, the rods are a Thomas & Thomas Contact 2, which is the $850, $900 rod, whatever it was. And then my rod is a Echo Euronymph 10 foot 3 weight rod. Um, so yeah, those are the two rods. You can look them up if you want to. All right, guys, I am starting off with the Echo Carbon XL Euronymph rod, 10 foot 3 weight. Um, I bought this rod for like $180, $190. So yeah. Just round up to 200. See how it fishes. See if I can catch a fish. Got one. No. I'm gonna try to bring it out of the hole. Little bow. Second cast. Maybe a good sign. He's off. And my nymph is so far up in the tree. <laughs> well guys, at least I caught a fish. Second cast. I know my nymphs are so far up in the tree. I don't even know if I can get them or not. We'll try. I don't think I said this at the last hole, but I have the the uh, Thompson and Thompson Contact Two, ten foot three weight Euro nymphing rod. It's around eight hundred and fifty dollar rod. Very expensive, but I'm gonna see if it's worth it. <laughs> Holy cow, what the heck was that? It's stuck on a leaf, I don't know, I doubt you could see that very well. I got stuck on a leaf. It was pulling the leaf out of the water and a decent, I think it was a rainbow trout, came up and jumped out of the water. For my dumb nymph, it was closer to me then. Maybe I cast on this close edge. Let me get a little further over. Maybe I'll come out again. Maybe I just start lifting our nymphs out of the water here, they'll eat it. I think I see it. on this closer seam which makes sense there we go got him that was the fish I don't know if it's a rainbow or brown looks like a rainbow oh it's a brown Pretty brown trout. I'll get John. John! John! I mean, it isn't it's huge, but it's it's a pretty brown trout. 
This trap, like, I got stuck on the bottom. Oh, well, I shouldn't say stuck on the bottom. I got stuck on a leaf on the bottom and, like, pulled the leaf out because I, I was stuck on it. And this trap jumped out of the water after my nymphs as I was pulling it out. So then I just kept drifting in there. Eventually, I got him. <laughs> yeah, yes. You look at the colors on him. He's, like, golden. I mean, he's, like, golden. Look at that. It's Long. dark, dude. He's got some scars on him. All right, guys, this is my first brown trout of the day. Beautiful post spawn, like just a dark brown, dark colored brown trout. Beautiful trout. He has some scars on him too, but I'm gonna hold him up quickly. Someday. <laughs> oh. 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 Look, look at the dark colors on him. That brown trout is just an incredible colored fish. Snaky. Yeah, we're gonna get and back in the water. Hopefully catch a few more of these. Got him. I think it's a rainbow. He ate the mop. Yeah. Nice fish, nice fish indeed. <sighs> oh, he popped out. He's probably, oh, I don't know. Andrew's got one now. Is it big? What is it? Oh, we got doubled up then. I think it's about the size of what I just caught, to be honest with you. My net, mine's unhooked. They're like identical size. All right, guys, so we just doubled up. I have both fish in the net. Andrew has the camera. I'm just going to try to hold them up here in a second. But I caught mine on the Echo 10 foot three weight uh, Euro rod, which is like. 190 dollars, and then Andrew caught his on the uh, his expensive like 850 dollar rod. So um, get a release on these fish and keep fishing. All right, guys. So me and Andrew are walking up the creek here. I don't know if you guys can see this on the GoPro, but this right here, I'm trying to get an angle. See that? This here, that is a very large brown trout red. Um, there are no fish on the red, obviously, because it's December right now. Well, not quite December, but um, the fish are done spawning. However, this time of the year, you need to watch out for reds because uh, the eggs and stuff will still be on the reds. And if you step on the eggs, then uh, yeah, I mean, that pretty much ruins the entire, all the work the brown shot did to, you know, get to this point. So you still should at all costs avoid reds, um, especially if you can see them. Like that one's like the most obvious red on planet earth. Yeah, I bet there's some nice browns doing that, but anyway, I just wanted to touch on that because although the spawn, that could be a red there too as well, although the spawn is over, you still want to avoid them. That's for sure red. Yeah, that's another red. Those are the first couple of reds we've seen too. Alright, well, let's get fishing. Oh my gosh. I thought I was stuck on that rock. I mean, I figured there'd be something in there, but. 
there's something in the water, or there was back in the day that was in the sky. Oh, there's a <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna get stuck up there if I don't turn it. Jesus, dude, did you see that run? Yeah, the other fish was rainbow too, wasn't it? Yeah. That's a nice fish, though, for real. No doubt. I should have to get thing of it. Heck yeah, bro. That's sick. I didn't expect to catch one, to be honest with you. First fish on the nine hundred thousand dollar rod. All right, guys. So this was my my first fish on the nine hundred dollar rod. It's a beautiful rainbow. Probably my biggest fish of the day. It's not like a giant fish by any means, but there he is. Again, not a giant fish, but a nice one for sure. I'm happy with it. So, go ahead and get this guy released and continue up the creek. Giant fish. Oh, it popped off. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, goodness. I don't know where to go here. There we go. I came out of nowhere. Not a bad little fish. He got hit by a bird or something. Oh wow. Yeah. Alright guys. My second decent brown of the day. I caught a couple of like or I caught that like five inch or <laughs> <laughs> but not a bad brown It has nice beautiful colors to it. Look at him. Beautiful fish, man. He's got a little scar on his back too. Yeah, he's just he's getting close up on that something. scar briefly if you can hold him kind of to that side. Yeah. Looks like a bird totally almost got him, but he got away. So these fish are some these fish are some survivors, that's for sure. But good brown trout. That was on the Echo rod. Carbon XO. Yep. And at the end of the video here, we'll uh, we'll both uh, give you our opinions on which rod or what we think of the rods. But we're gonna get this fish released and. Probably gonna be into the video soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's too cold out here, man. We've been freezing all day. <laughs> freezing cold. All right, so I'm gonna end out this video and kind of give my opinions on both of the rods: the $900 rod, the Thomas and Thomas Contact 2, and the Echo Carbon XL. Both in 10 foot three weight. Both your nymph rods. Um, I mean, it's not hard to tell the difference when you use both of them back to back. That the Thomas and Thomas is just a better rod. It's a lot lighter, and um, it's a lot more sensitive. Uh, you can feel the difference between things like a fish bite and the rock or bottom. And it's just an all around more comfortable or better rod to fish with. Having said that, unless, unless you're a professional angler or you do a lot of competition angling or you just fish a crap ton, um, <laughs> it's not worth spending the extra $700 on it. Because as you can see in this video, we caught a crap ton of fish on the uh, Echo Carbon XL. Um, they're both great rods. Uh, they'll both catch fish and you know for the average Joe uh, Using the cat carbon XL is probably all you're ever gonna need to be honest That's all I mean up to this point in my life both me and Andrew We've never owned a rod that costs, you know more than like two or three hundred dollars. So Having or being able to feel what like a nine hundred dollar rod feels like is really cool And it's awesome and it's something that we appreciate now because we've been fishing for so long but had you given this rod to me five or six years ago, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have appreciated it, to be honest. So, yeah, let's see what Andrew thinks about him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew. So, you start out the day with the Thomas and Thomas. You caught a decent brown with it and several nice rainbows. What were your initial impressions on the Thomas and Thomas? 
So, <laughs> if I just started with this, I wouldn't think that that is like too bad at all. Like it yeah. feels okay. I can like feel feel the rocks, feel the bottom. But after uh, starting out with that rod, though, it's obviously it's just like a bit like heavier in the hand as you're you're uh, casting. It isn't quite as light, and maybe uh, like nimble is the right word. Like it, it just feels better in your hand but overall i mean there isn't anything wrong with the rod and i think for, i think for 650 dollars less well i think this rod too i think this rod actually caught more fish today to be honest with you did just but the, did. but i guess that kind of goes back to the thing where it's like it doesn't really matter what tool you're using i mean we have a video on our channel where we caught fish with a stick yeah so, so like I mean, you, you can catch fish with anything it's just like how good the tool is can make it your day easier or not as easy or more difficult. Oh, I was also going to say, uh, also I did uh, notice that this is an uplocking real seat compared to the Thomas and Thompson. Yeah, hold on, show them what you're talking about though. Which is down locking. So just show them the difference between the so, two. So here you have the uplocking and the real locks up up here and then this it locks down yeah, so to the base the, here. So you see the lock here on this real seat pushes the reel back towards it, which helps balance which, the rod better. Yeah, which, which uh, one, could be like part of the feeling like this one feels a bit like lighter and it probably just feels more because, balanced also yeah, show them the show them the guide real quick this guide right here this is the carbon xl and this is the thomas and thomas which uh this is a uh, shorter here so it's so as you're like nymphing there isn't a big like sway in the line from from here to here yeah there's not this sag in this line which could have or has a lot to do with um how well you can feel the feel, bottom and stuff like yeah. that because with line, any any amount of line sag, especially up near the rod and reel, but uh, uh, this one is also feeling. like it is shorter than it normally normally is. Like it's yeah, they're all shorter because so, it's a euro rod. But I mean, this one's a little shorter. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for. So obviously, <laughs> I'm not gonna give or we're not giving away the Thomas and Thomas, the expensive rod. A uh, couple reasons is Andrew actually wanted a euro rod, and that's his new euro rod for at least for the time being right now. Um, I bought the Echo Rod purely for this video, and it cost me like $190, $200. So it's not a cheap rod by any means. Um, I, for a long time, I never owned a $200 rod, and I chose a $200 rod because A, it's a decent rod, and I knew that when I did the giveaway, um, it would be a good rod for somebody. Two, the other Euro Rod we have, which is a Risen, I didn't want to give that one away because I've been using it forever and I'm used to it. So. I bought this rod purely for the video, so we're going to give it away with this video. So, to win this rod, all you have to do is like the video and leave a comment. If you leave a comment, I'm going to enter you into a list, and then I'm just going to randomly choose someone from the list, and I'll choose it before Christmas and try to send the rod out before Christmas, but no guarantees. Don't, don't hold me to that. But that, that's my plan anyway, so I, so we'll give someone a pretty cool Christmas present, hopefully, someone that'll enjoy it. If you're trying to get into Euro Niffing, it's a great way to get into Euro Niffing. It's a great rod. Um, I We had it paired with a Risen Gideon today, which is actually the reel that I used for the other Euro rod. Um, so I'm not giving away the reel, just the rod, but it's still like a $200 value. It's yeah. been lightly used. The uh, reel is all beat up anyway. You yeah, you don't want the reel anyway. Also, that that... I, did, I literally haven't even taken the plastic off the handle of that reel, of the of the rod, so like it's not even dirty or anything from us using it today. Um, but yeah, made in China. Leave a like, comment something, <laughs> and also made in also made in China. when you leave the comment, just say say whatever you want to say. I don't really care, but uh, leave like your Instagram handle or leave some way for me to contact you so that if you're chosen and you win, uh, I can contact you to get your address so I can send you the rod. But anyway. $200 rod giveaway. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The oh, next the, the one other thing, if we're, we're, we're finishing, I'm just gonna say one Andrew's last thing. Andrew's got something else. Uh, the the Thomas and Tom, Thomas here, the only thing I can say is almost every rod I've ever had, including this, this uh, cheap rod, had some way to know like Oh yeah, uh, yeah, that's uh, right. I don't know how to explain what I'm saying. This is this is the only drawback to the rod. So you know, like when you stick the rods together, every rod has like two little dots. So when you stick the rod together, you don't have to like look down look the guides, the guides to see, see if it's straight or straight. not. Yeah. Like the Echo has like these two dots that you can line up so that you can look and you're like, oh, the rod's straight. 
Thomas and Thomas didn't have that. Yeah, I was just eyeballing it's just, it like it's just, I did back, <laughs> back 10 years ago. Yeah, back when we had rods that were so cheap that they didn't have anything on it to begin with. But anyway, uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's something a little different. And good luck to whoever wins the Echo Rod, and I hope you catch like a 30-inch trout on it or something. Yeah, that's... See ya.